Hello everyone! Wait, I should say hola everyone! I know some of you know that I was recently in Costa Rica. I was on a volunteer spring break trip with um, Alternative Spring Breaks, an organization on campus. A group of like 11 of us went to a local sustainable coffee farm um, in Monte Verde. Among other things, we were mostly tasked with coming up with ideas for the farm to you know, provide more nutritious food for all of their coffee pickers. Um, so more of an indirect service project per se, but we also did um, a lot of other things, you know, planting crops for the farm, picking and sorting the coffee beans with the workers while we were interacting with them. I had such a good week and made a lot of new friends and I learned a ton also. So I wanted to share, you know, a little bit of what my week looked like with all of you. So here it goes. How's that image down there? Get a nice view of the valley? We had a long first day of travel, but after two different flights, we finally landed in San Jose at night. We got to stay with the other volunteer group, and then we woke up bright and early and started our bus ride up the mountain. this part of the trip. Um, we had a really cool bus driver that took us, uh, you know, into Monte Verde and it was really cool to see all of the different landscapes of Costa Rica as well. We started, you know, down at the coast and then made our way upwards. Finally, after three hours, we arrived at Life Monte Verde. We were greeted with a delicious lunch, and then Daniel, one of our university partners, took us off on a farm tour. Uh, we got to see all of their different animals, uh, checked out the, some of the coffee plots, um, and yeah, that was day one. I know it looks like all we're doing is just playing around on this coffee farm in Costa Rica, but we did do a lot of work actually. We interacted with all of the migrant workers a lot, helping them pick and sort the coffee beans. We got to talk with them about their life here, uh, what they miss about Nicaragua, which was really cool. We also spent a good part of the week helping plant vegetables on the farm. Um, and on our last day, we actually got to help our fabulous cook, Marlana, prepare a traditional meal for all of the workers on the farm. And of course, what's a week on a coffee farm in Costa Rica without a proper coffee tasting? We had quite a bit of free time before our flight was due to fly out, so we decided as a group to visit the Monte Verde Cloud Forest Reserve, which was honestly just stunning. If I had to pick one word to describe my trip in Costa Rica, I'd have to say knowledge. I learned so much about Costa Rica itself, um, sustainable farming, and you know the lives of all of the Nicaraguan uh, coffee pickers, and a lot about myself too. I'd have to say this was probably one of the best weeks of my life. I want to thank everyone at Life Monte Verde for welcoming us with such open arms. Um, my amazing site leaders, Grace and Taylor, Christy for keeping us in line the whole week, um, and ASB, thank you so much.